O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence which the saints enjoy surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city, where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalms 97 and 98 The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings lit up the world. The earth saw it and trembled. The mountains melted like wax at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the Lord of the whole earth, the heavens declared his righteousness. And all the peoples have seen his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in mere idols. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced. Because of your judgments, O Lord, for you, Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his faithful and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joy for the true of heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation, and deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sound praises before the Lord, the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands. And let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Psalm 100 but Be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his holy name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting. And his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The prophecy of Isaiah, the fortieth chapter, beginning at the twelfth verse. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and marked off the heavens with a span, and closed the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or as his counsellor has instructed him? Whom did he consult for his enlightenment, and who taught him the path of justice? Who taught him knowledge? and showed him the way of understanding. Even the nations are like a drop from a bucket. They are accounted as dust on the scales. See, he takes up the isles like fine dust. Lebanon would not provide fuel enough, nor are its animals enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are account com accounted by him as less than nothing and emptiness. To whom then will you liken God, or what likeness compare with him? An idol? A workman casts it, and a goldsmith overlays it with gold, and casts for it silver chains. As a gift one chooses mulberry wood, wood that will not rot, then seeks out a skilled artisan to set up an image that will not topple. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the earth, circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretch out the heavens like the curtain, and spread them like a tent to live in, who brings princes to naught, and makes the rulers of the earth as nothing. Scarcely are they planted, Scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth, when he blows upon them and they wither, and the tempest carries them off like stubble. To whom then will you compare me, or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see, who created these? He who brings out their host and numbers them, calling them by name. Because he is great in strength, mighty in power, not one is missing. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I am the Lord your Holy One the creator of Israel, your king. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. The Revelation to St John, chapter 14 beginning at verse 14. Then I looked, and there was a white cloud, and seated on the cloud was one like the Son of Man, with a golden crown on his head, and a sharp sickle in his hand. Another angel came out of the temple, calling with a loud voice to the one who sat on the cloud, Use your sickle and reap, for the hour to reap has come, because the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. So the one who sat on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth, and the earth was reaped. Then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, 
and he too had a sharp sickle. Then another came out from the altar, the angel who has authority over fire, and he called with a loud voice to him who had the sharp sickle, Use your sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for its grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle over the earth, and gathered the vintage of the earth, and he threw it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden outside the city, and blood flowed from the winepress, as high as a horse's bridle, for a distance of about two hundred miles. Then I saw another portent in heaven, great and amazing. Seven angels with seven plagues, which are the last, for with them the wrath of God is ended. <clears throat> and I saw what appeared to be a sea of glass, mixed with fire, and those who had conquered the beast and its image, and the number of its name, standing beside the sea of glass, with harps of gold in their hands. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and amazing are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the nations. Lord, who will not fear and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you, for your judgments have been revealed. After this, I looked, and the temple of the tent of witness in heaven was opened. And out of the temple came the seven angels with the seven plagues, robed in pure bright linen, with golden sashes across their chests. Then one of the four living creatures gave the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God, who lives for ever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power, and no one could enter the temple until the seven plagues of the seven angels were ended. I will sing for ever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing for ever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Let us pray. Give thanks to God for the night which has passed, for rest and for recreation. We 
pray God's blessing upon the life of the church and the worldwide Anglican communion praying with and for the bishops clergy and people of the Diocese of Sao Paulo in Brazil East Carolina in the United States continue in our prayers within our own diocese for the United Benefice, the United Benefice of St Peter and St Augustine South Croydon praying today for St Augustine's for Lucinda Stevens the Southwark Pastoral Auxiliary there Give thanks for the announcements made last night to pray God's blessing upon our plans and hopes and preparations for the resumption of communal worship. We pray too for our preparations for the start of Advent that we may have hope and joy and expectation in our hearts as we prepare for the coming of Christ. Eternal Father, whose Son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King, Keep the Church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, to pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mass will be live streamed at 10am this morning.